Hello! We're going to be drawing a shark today as requested by my nephew Atticus. Um, and I'm actually running out of paper. I'm waiting on some paper to be delivered. But I found this nice, it's part of an envelope. I just thought it was quite nice paper. So you can draw on anything you like. It doesn't have to be fancy paper. And uh, for this drawing, I'm going to just use a pencil quite a nice soft pencil um, and later I'm going to show you something very quickly um, with some pen but for this drawing I thought we would just use so all you're going to need is a pencil and an eraser even just an eraser like on the end of a pencil is absolutely perfect for this okay let's get started so we're going to be drawing a, it's a great white shark. And I'm going to start at the middle point and we're going to go towards the nose. Like that. And then it doesn't have, a, even though it's kind of got a pointy nose, it's still slightly rounded. It comes round like that. It comes all the way kind of back to there. And then it kind of has a really slightly upside down smile, I suppose, like a frown. It kind of, they always look like, I always think they look like they're smiling, but in a weirdly frowny kind of way. Um, and then this bottom jaw kind of comes around like, like that. And then what we can do is we can put the fun put some little teeth in and put as many teeth as you like you can make them look as fearsome as you want to this comes down like that and all the way along the belly okay I'm going to go back up here and we're going to do that essential sharky feature the dorsal fin and again, it's a point, but it's not a sharp, sharp point. And I like kind of putting a couple of little wiggly bits because you might have been in some fights. Okay. And then we come down like this. A nice sort of torpedo shape. This. This kind of joins, it, can, it, it doesn't join up, it kind of go, meets, meets to a point like that. And then let's come back to the head. I'm going to leave the tail for now. Come back up to the head. Now, here you've got like a funny nostril, like a pit nostril. And at the moment, it kind of looks like I've done the eye there. But they're going to have the eyes going to come back. I want you to come back and up a little bit. And it's going to be quite a round eye. So I'm not doing my tear shape eye today. Because he's got that nostril. It would confuse it a wee bit. <coughs> Excuse me. It would it confuse it a little bit if we did another tear shape eye. So for this I'm going to do the round. And I'm going to take it all the way around. But I'm not going to fill it all in black. I'm going to leave just a little bit of white there I think. And then if we come, if you take the line, your pencil, and really lightly, not heavily, just draw like a bit of a wiggly line like this. And it's a bit like a tide line, all the way kind of along, kind of wiggle it along kind of the half, halfway along, bit, bit um, less than half. Sorry, a bit more than halfway down the down the shark, and then here we've got gills. So we make some lines for the slits for the gills. I think one, two, three. I think they have five. I think we've got five. And then right from this last gill here, we're going to do this um, pectoral fin. 
and that's going to come and because we've got f something called foreshortening it, just do a line that kind of sweeps down like that so it's not going all the way to the bottom of the, bottom of the belly but it's just kind of coming down like that in a swoop and then here just just do a little a wee bit of line there and then what we're going to do is we're going to sweep down and as we get closer we're going to narrow up and we're going to meet that the end of that like that okay and I know that looks a little bit weird just now but just trust me on this one and then we've got the other um, petrol fin so we're thinking it's going to be on the other side so if we could see through him um, so we kind of come down like that and we're about here and I know it's a little bit different drawing things like this because now this fin is going away from you it's a totally different shape but it looks a little bit like that it looks a bit like um, the dorsal fin doesn't it so we've got that like that and they have two little um, I'm not sure what these fins are called, but they have two little fins at the back, like that, and a little one up here, okay, and then we're going to do that beautiful big tail, go up, and then it has a, maybe has a couple of wiggly bits, and it goes, comes to the middle, and then you go out again, and then Come in a little bit to so the end of where you've drawn your tail. And bring it out like that. Okay, so there we go. You have drawn the main part of your shark. Now what we can have is we can just quickly draw some fish around it. I'm just going to do a basic shape. A little eye. You could just have some funny little fishy shapes okay, in the distance, keeping away. And you can add to that, add to that as much as you like. Now don't worry if you do anything wonky, and let me show you why in a minute. But just this basic fishy shape. So we're not doing much here, we're not doing detail on this yet. Now, here comes the fun bit. So get your pencil and put it on its side, okay? And we're going to start with the fin. Um, and we're going to get it really nice and dark, okay? And you can be really nice and bold in it. And it might look a bit kind of funny making it quite so dark just now, but let's just... Let's just see what happens, shall we? And then we've got all this bit here because sharks are darker on the top than they are on the bottom and that helps them not be seen by their prey. It's all to do, if you look at lots of animals in the water, they often have this pail underneath and darker on top and it helps them to be camouflaged so make this bit nice and dark so I'm actually drawing from a very nice picture I found on the internet whoopsie um, I'm not um, drawing this from my head but um, I found a nice black and white photo on the internet that's very nice by some clever photographer and these nice dark bits and then make now I'm not being neat just now I'm just locking in my colour my tone I should say okay and you can go really dark on the edges and before I do anything else, I actually think I might need to make this 
and then this dorsal fin a little bit bigger so I can just do that I can just add on a little bit like that now the same with the fish the fish are going to be dark and um, in the background so I'm just going to color in their tone a little bit and I don't have to be neat just going to fit it in now looking quite rough at the moment but just wait a minute I want you to get your pencil and I, you're going to I can't swivel it be more useful if I do that I'm gonna do some like this you can try and get it really dark up here at the top okay just at the top now there's different ways you can do it. You can do it exactly like I'm doing, or you could even go into your pencil sharpening bot, pot and tap out, tap out the powder. Now I've actually got something that's called graphite powder, and basically it's exactly, it's like your pencil sharpening. See, it comes out like that. So I'm cheating to be quick, but you could do it like this. You know the rub it and see how I've, I've with my pencil I've done that and use your finger to just smudge it but if you can get your um, sharpening pot or even sharpen your pencil over your picture and then get this and I want you to just do this and get it all smudged in okay like this and I want you to take it over your shark like this and get it all nice and dark. And it looks like, oh my goodness, what is Holly making us do? What is she doing? Making a mess. But I'm gonna show you in a minute. And I'm gonna make this nice and bit dark under here. Okay. Oh look, and if we do that with our fingers, and that's even going to help what we're about to do. Hee hee End up with lovely hands like this. Right. So I'm just going to get rid of that. So we end up with a little bit of a messy mess. And here comes the fun bit. I want this shark to be swimming through water that has the sun rays coming through. So I'm going to get my eraser. And we're just gonna. Oh, this is where I find out that the children's. Ah, oh, there we go. Now, even a really bad eraser like this one will work. Just keep going. I think I might have chosen the worst eraser in the land. This is a really cheap. Rather, that's okay. I'm going to persevere because that's what I tell you guys to do. So what we're doing is we're making the sun rays through the water. Can you see? There we go. That's got that bit. And I have a bit more up here. I'm gonna break off this wee bit here. Break off a piece of the eraser to make it a bit better. Okay. Now, start to see a bit what's happening. light across the back of the shark and along here and don't worry if you lose detail because you can just draw that back in but what I say is when you're doing things with light and dark you want to make your light bits light and your dark bits dark so whoops maybe don't do what I've just done and smudge over your hard worked but let's 
see if I can find look, I have got better rubber here. Otherwise I'm gonna be here all night trying to there we go. Right, so I'm gonna rub out bits on the top of the shark and that's just showing the light. You see the light coming through from the the rays coming through the through the water and then this part here and this bottom jaw let's take some of that off you can start to lift off the areas that are white so <laughs> and there's a bit here and a wee bit here now you can take more time than this to get your white bits really white but I hope it's given you an idea of what you can do and then you want the you want the lighter the lightest areas to be at the top so you can really kind of make this bit much lighter like that and then um, where did my pencil go here then you can go back in and get this dorsal fin really dark again you can go back into the areas that you want really dark maybe make his nose so what you're doing is you're building up all the tone and you're making those bits that you made dark at the beginning, you're making them even darker and you need to draw back in the gills and look I've managed to rub out the mouth and he's got lots of shadow in that mouth and he's got the teeth. And under the this part of the there's a little bit of shade just along here and a little bit of shade just using some little brush uh, brush strokes, little pencil strokes like this. And keep it nice. And then this doing this fin again. I'm just going back in and putting some of the detail back in. Detail that you might have lost when you were rubbing out. Okay, so it looks a bit like he's a shark in the murky, gloomy water, and I quite like how these fish look in this one as well so we can just make silhouettes silhouette shapes and I'm going to come back in and draw down and here you have your shark all drawn with just a pencil and your eraser and you've got lots of atmosphere and you can take your time and draw, you can draw a little fish in the background, anything you want. You can make them dark and just a suggestion of fish. Now a little tip for you is that if you want to keep your picture nice, when it's got lots of things like this and everybody's all quite dirty like this, what um, you can do is ask mummy or daddy if they've got any hairspray and if you spray some hairspray on it it will stop it smudging once you've finished it it'll stop it smudging if you put some hairspray on <laughs> okay now really quickly so that was how well you can see that oh goodness I've just realized that the light <laughs> doesn't do very good does it? 
so that might have been a really useless tutorial but there's your shark and then we're just going to do something really quick with here's one I made earlier okay now if you've got a pen that you've been drawing with before that you know bleeds when you put the water on and it smudges use that okay and then see if you can find an old end of a candle or a tea light you get your candle and once you've drawn out your drawn out your shark you're going to get your candle and you're just going to do some smudging okay and you're going to put it where the candle is going to work as a wax resist so you're just going to put it where you want it to be light okay <sighs> my candle is a bit melty and then get your paintbrush get your paintbrush and let's do the fun bit we go into our picture where we've had the and you go on to the where your pen has been is now going to give you all this color and what we're going to do is this and we're going to work go diagonally like this and you're going to get lots of inkiness happening and then you will honey um go back into your shark and try and get it to fit the dark bits in you can go back in like this and that's kind of bled a little bit off. So I'm gonna put do, 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 do. this bit's even though it's light under his belly it's um it's in shadow. If you get it all kind of lots of bleed like that, don't worry, just kind of ease it out and put it into your background okay and this is all in shadow too I've maybe been a bit over generous with my um, with my candle but that's okay because we can kind of go back into it okay and then get your pen if you need if you know if you if you need more ink, you can get your pen. I'm using a dip pen here, but that's only because I couldn't find my water soluble one. It does the same if you're using a, another pen, but you can go in, you can just pop bits of a little bit more ink here and there. Like this, just pop it in. So, or you could do this with paint. If you've got paint, you can use paint to do this. A nice blue would be nice. I'm going to get them quite dark bits here. I'm going to dot it in, and I quite like that it's kind of watery looking and nothing's kind of going quite where it's really meant to, but I think it kind of helps that it has that kind of feeling of being in the water, don't you? And I'm just going to put some ink there. Spread it out. So I think you've probably been watching for long enough. I will leave you to it. But you can see the sort of things you can do. So that's just with your pen that you use. 
and um, a candle. And you could also, if you want to, you could get your pencil and draw into that as well. Once it's dry, you can always go in and add more bits to it and get your detail to come back in. All right. Have fun with your sharks. Mm-hmm. <laughs>